We've been talking a lot about it here on East Texas Life, but East Texas Giving Day is an effort to raise funds and awareness for nonprofits right here in East Texas, and it takes place next Tuesday. Coleman Swartz but the Better Business Bureau is here live virtually this morning to give us some tips on how to give wisely and any time of the year, not just on Tuesday. Good morning, Coleman. Good morning. It's almost the afternoon. It is almost the afternoon. We're about 19 minutes away from that. But yeah. You know, when you're feeling charitable, the last thing you want is for your money that you think is going to a good place to go to scammers. So yeah. let's start with was fundraising up or down during the pandemic? Get, so the, the, the complicated answer is it depends on where you read your reports. Um, the easy answer is it was about the same. However, most reports that we read through various uh, um, institutions, various journals, uh, literature, whatnot, say that it was up. And a lot of it was up because of the crowdfunding uh, aspect of it. Um, you know, a lot of people losing their jobs, uh, various other items that required financial help. So, you know, if I gave $10 to you, or ten dollars to a charity, it was still considered a donation under most umbrellas. So, generally speaking, um, donations, charitable giving this last year was up anywhere from six to seven percent. Meanwhile, we've been talking with a lot of nonprofits here yep. um, over the past week, and they're saying they're struggling. They didn't get to have those fundraisers that they relied on. So, I think this is going to be a very successful Giving Day. What are some things we can do to give wisely? Yeah, and, and obviously we encourage folks to, to give. Um, if it's in your heart and it's financially feasible, we encourage folks to give to all of the great nonprofits here in East Texas. Uh, a couple of things we are warning people about, and that's number one, you want to look out for copycat organizations. Uh, Cynthia, it's very simple for me to change the name of an organization and act like I belong to that organization because it sounds really familiar. For example, would you know the difference between uh, the Wounded Warrior Foundation, the Wounded Warrior Association, or the Wounded Warrior Services? They all sound very familiar. One of those is real, the other ones, not so much. So it's very simple to get confused. So you, you always wanna verify the names and information first. Uh, second thing, you never want to give impulsively. And folks, it is okay to do your homework. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to go to their website, look at the financials, look at their mission, look at their goals. Um, and if you feel comfortable after that, then go ahead and give. But if at any point you feel uncomfortable or an organization is unwilling to give you that information, you really want to proceed with caution. Um, and then the last thing we want is Take the time to do the research on the financials from your perspective. Um, are the donations tax deductible? Um, a lot of the tax laws have changed in the last year. Uh, so you want to be you, you want to be vigilant and not only scouting them, but making sure it's not going to, I guess, negatively affect you by you giving money to an organization and it may or may not be tax deductible when next April rolls around. Now, something I've been asking some of the nonprofits that we've had here on our show is, you know, how do you plan to use the money that you get on Tuesday or leading up to it? Um, unfortunately, we can't talk to more than 200 organizations in an hour. So what's the best way to make sure our donations are spent the way that we intend when we're uh, opening our pockets and our hearts? The very simple answer, ask. Simply ask the questions. If you give money to an organization, ask them how it's going to be used. And then again, most, most reputable nonprofits and charities, their financial statements are available. And a lot of times they're available online and you can go and see, they brought in X amount of dollars, this is what they spent it on. Um, and so that way, oh wait a minute, for every $100 you paid yourself 90, that's not good. Whereas if it's the other way around, for every $100 you spent 90 on programs and mission statement, that's much better. Don't be afraid to ask, especially if you're donating an amount of money that is, you know, substantial to you. Ask the questions, and you and and if they're willing to provide the answers, then you should feel good that your money's going to the right spot. Coleman, thank you so much for breaking down always very complicated issues and making them easy to understand. We appreciate you. You bet, Cynthia. You bet. We'll be right back with more of East Texas Live before you know it. Stay with us.